Hello everybody, my name is Andrew Phoenix and today we are going to make another first impression video for another MMORPG and this game is Dragon Ball Golden Ball Online. Honestly, this game is actually quite old and released in 2010, but back in the day it's released only for uh, Taiwan, uh, Taiwan, Chinese and Korean audience and never seen Western realize and after three years it was that MMO sadly. But a couple of years ago, the game taken by fans' hands and private servers are created, and we are going to play one of them, actually the oldest of them. And it's Dragon Ball Online Global Revolutions. It's have uh, most populations of uh, in private servers, and we'll see if first impressions of this game good or not. And I don't want to make the fans angry, so <laughs> let's hope it's good. This is our first screen we will see and here we are going to create a character and here we have a couple of races it seems Human, Namek and Majin and it seems we don't have Saiyan race here I don't know why As you can see we are a child and that's another feature this game have actually and it's pretty cool you start as a child and at level uh, 30 you can turn into uh, adult with uh, doing some quests at first you are going to play like a Goku as a child then you will turn into adult like a Dragon Ball uh, adventure thing like anime I mean Goku started as a child then he gone to the teenage and adulthood so it's cool thing to have for the races we have Namekian race, Majin, <laughs> uh, bro, what the hell? But can't we make this guy muscular or something? Namekian, as a hair, we have some weird antennas. I <laughs> and then we have obviously human race here. Oh, that's a cute little girl. Imagine this girl turning into Super Saiyan. Yeah, honestly, I'm going for this one. And for the face, let's look. Oh, is that a Vegeta face? Is that a Vegeta face, bro? <laughs> I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna be Super Saiyan too. I wanna be Super Saiyan too. I wanna, I wanna be a Super Saiyan. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. That face. Yeah, that's that face. And for the skin, we have some skin colors here. I will be going with this one and that's all we can do with character creation it seems this character creation seems uh, very uh, restricted so let's hope there is more variety in the game long time ago there was mysterious wish guaranteeing crystal balls the drug oh fuck you bro and I will come if I see we was ever saved from crime. Justice was brought Majin Buu. May the earth has no peace and change. That's why we don't have the Saiyan race, I guess. Interesting. That's interesting. Pilot to hell. Most written time patrols has been just through the time rifts. Oh, that's interesting. That's how we are still a child, it seems. Uh-huh. Yo motherfucker, huh? How are you doing, huh? Look at that walk. How uh, how is the walking, huh? You motherfucker, huh? You think you are you are talk, you motherfucker, huh? You fucking shit. Fuck you up. Fuck you up, motherfucker, huh? Motherfucker, huh? You motherfucker. Right, let's loot. Let's loot the bitch. So we kind of send it the uh, timeline where a lot of people uh, people we know exist, it seems. I wonder how that's going to work out with the uh, story. Oh, that guys are here, and Trunks is here as well. Yeah, motherfuckers, you ready to get me down my Trunks? Oh, damn, bro. Damn! 
You guys are no match for him. You're dead, motherfucker. GBT. <laughs> <laughs> Bro is making T pose. I honestly still didn't change the full screen because the game didn't let me do it. So let's see if I can do it now. I managed to make the game full screen with editing uh, one line in the files. And after doing that, graphics part opened and we have some resolutions here and some other stuff you can edit as well like the gamma option and some other things like that and that's how we make the game full screen oh we have a lot of types of enemies here beast soldier dino alien android robot dragon demon ghost cyberman and bug types these are interesting that that gives me hope about the enemy variety you know that's very important thing for animals Oh, uh, isn't that so fucking funny? Look at look at this thing. It's like, oh, nice. That's nice, bro. <laughs> That's nice. I like this one. I'm getting some FPS drops. I don't know why it's happening. It's kind of weird to have FPS drops in a game like this. Wait, bro, this thing is following me. What the fuck? Bro, those eyes following you, that's fucking weird. They see me rolling, they hate you. My inventory is full. Oh shit, bro. I didn't thought we are going to face with inventor problem right away like this. I don't get it why, really. These are some things like buses, uh, transportation things. You can uh, ride them and, you know, look around the map and there is a thing called radar and that lets you to see some quests in the chasers and things like that so that's kind of cool system i would say another luck another fps drop yeah honestly this is kind of the biggest problem of this game at this point what I made some search and it seems we can buy uh, inventory space from token shop and this is the one you want to get if you want some inventory space but it's expensive and you can't get right away uh, since you don't have enough token and you get tokens by doing quests and killing mobs but killing mobs and doing quests means you're going to get loot and you getting loot means with this tiny aspect at inventory you are you can't loot anything at fucking all and that's very bad choice i must say very very bad choice here we have a pet machine and pet merchant and her name is kirby that's fucking cute bro what the fuck that's expensive as fuck bro damn no pet for us I guess. It seems we find the bank. So let's open it. Ah, oh, come on, bro. This is tiny as fuck as well. What the hell wrong with this game inventory system? We can buy bank uh, slots as well, but it's expensive as fuck. How I'm going to get money enough to buy shit if I can't loot shit? I mean, I need inventory space to loot the shit to sell and get more money. To buy inventory space. Oh, this NPC have a quest. Hey kid, why are you here? You're trying to catch one. Please don't jump. Please don't jiggle them. All right, let's beat the shit out of it. Boom, motherfucker. Huh? Take it, take it, take it. Ah, oh, yeah. Smell, it, smell, it, and take it. Let's see. If this is going to give us inventory space or not. And nice, we got it. So let's see. Nice. We got the inventory. We need. And I just found out identified items, uh, mystery items we have here. This is how you do 
like you can see we did it yay there is no way you are a kid you must be some kind of curse keeping you young <laughs> bro don't believe you are a kid oh this is the quest actually telling us how to you know uh open the mystery items that's cool i mean game should have explained that already oh that's a time rift is how i'm oh I was going to say how I'm going to went there, but which mountain? That just take me in H Mount Paizu. Alright, so we are back in time. Oh, hey kid, what's up? Time to eat some flesh, <laughs> bro. Bro, stop eating me, motherfucker. Damn, damn, full pow. Motherfucker, huh? You like it, you motherfucker? <laughs> uh, bro. Oh, Grandma Gohan. Hello, how you doing? Oh, is that Goku? Oh, man. That's Goku. Oh, whoa, no, that's so fucking exciting, you know. I'm so excited to see a Goku. Mysterious spacecraft. It's a baby! Hey, little Goku, what are you doing? Oh my god, so cute! Look at that tail! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's on my back! What the fuck? This is fucking cute, bro. Bro, bro, this is fucking cute. Oh my god, look at it. Little Goku on my back. Yeah, good. Let's go adventure, bro. Oh, and I and I can't fight why Goku is on my back. Damn, bro, that's that's fucking cool. I like this quest a lot. Really, it's really cool. Yeah, watch me, Goku. Watch me how I beat these motherfuckers. That's how you gonna fight in the future, huh? Watch and learn. And let's talk about the question everyone wonders when they are start doing MMO. Is it pay to win or not? This game was before uh, getting closed down was pay to win. But the version, the private service, at least the one I'm playing on is not pay to win. And there is only one item can uh, boost you. You can uh, get with real money in game. Uh, and you can get that item from market from uh, players with normal in-game currency called Zeni. That's actually quite hard to get from the market because it's quite expensive, like a hundred million Zeni. And as you can see, I only have one K, uh, so you gotta grind a lot for it. Or you can buy with real money with the prices I'm going to show on my screen right now. These are actually don't look that uh, you know high prices and they are going to support the private server if you get it but you are not need to because only thing you can get with real money is let me show you think colored here o uh, obc or how you pronounce i don't know uh, obt mighty Majin capsule box or mighty warrior capsule box etc it's an item let you get all passive skills gear and level up your character to uh, last level of the game unless you uh, play the end game content and honestly i read uh, end game gear is quite hard to grind so this might help you a lot and it's only 5k so how much money you gotta spend for just buying this if you don't want to grind and buy it you can just spend let's see around 20 bucks probably will save you from this grind it seems consider it it's not really pay to win more like pay to skip i guess and you can always grind and buy from the market or you can reach the last level without getting a gear and you can grind your gear later on and then play endgame content it's all up to you but yeah 
it's what you need to know about if this game is paid to win or not. Let's review the experience we had with the game and let's start with the pros. The gameplay gives a classic top target feeling and it's nothing special but the hit feeling was good and aside from the no toggle option it seems to be working fine. So for an ultima mode like this, the gameplay and combat are not bad at all. We have at least a decent amount of skills and classes. Our character being a child and then growing up later on is an interesting detail to have. The story was interesting and enjoyable, especially with quests about the past and scenes like seeing Goku's landing scene to the earth, etc. The game has end game content called Capsule Corp Battle Dungeon and considering a lot of games don't have end game content or dungeons, it's an obvious pro. But I have no idea about how well made or enjoyable the dungeon itself is. This game is like a hidden gem. I'm pretty sure most of Dragon Ball fans don't even know it exists because of the release audience of the game and dying after just 3 years before even seeing the western release. And for the cons, optimization is not well made. There are a lot of lag and drop problems. There is no toggle mouse option and even if you want to use toggle mouse with auto hotkey like programs, it doesn't work like it should because of how the game controls work. Personal inventory and bank space seems too small and I see no point in making this small. Later on you can buy inventory slots but at first hour it's quite annoying and I'm not sure later on it will be a problem as well while grinding or not. Character creation options don't have enough variety, especially not having a muscular version of Majin was a big letdown and the adulthood version of your character automatically changes when you do the quest and do not have any option to change or have no option to add a beard etc is another letdown. While we have decent amount of classes, it seems some classes are very weak and need some improvement because of being literally useless. The player count is around 500 to 1k and while it's not bad, it's not that much either. Yes, endgame content is good to have but it seems that getting endgame gear is hard and the endgame dungeon is not easy to play and you need group of people to play it. And since the game doesn't have a lot of players, it might be an issue later on. Overall, I think the game is worth trying and probably playing. Especially all Dragon Ball players should at least give a try and feel like they will have fun with it. I'm thinking continue to play and depending on how far I progress, maybe I will make a worth playing video as well. Alright folks, that's all for this video. Like always, please comment what you think about the video and the game. And if you are a veteran of this game, please share your opinions with me or tips you wanna share. Thanks for watching. Please, if you like the video, don't forget to like and share it. And maybe subscribe if you wanna see more from my videos and from me. See you later, stay with games, stay happy, goodbye.